at the Values Voter Summit, there's a couple of different ways that you can sort of whip up the audience, try to get some press for yourself. You can either appeal to Christianity or you can try to scare the pants off of people. Texas Lieutenant Governor David Dewhurst is going to go with the second option. So, Because, ladies and gentlemen, I'll probably say it again, if we don't stop the bad guys at the border today, they're going to be in your neighborhood tomorrow. And literally the president opening up the red carpet for him to come here. And then talking about amnesty by executive order has made millions of us all around the country really mad. Bottom line, again, if we don't stop the bad guys at the border, they're going to be in your hometown tomorrow. Every time we see uh, the Values Voter Summit, there is always a tremendous, like none of these, these people are so unhappy with everything in life yes. that even, even in their own brand of crazy, when presented with crazy, they can't muster anything other than a smattering of applause. Yeah. Like nobody really gets them excited because they're so hostile to the very, like maybe those people aren't that concerned. I, mean, I didn't come here. I came here to uh, hate gays. I'm not really interested <laughs> right. in ISIS crossing the border. Yeah. Got some applause, I would imagine. I, look, I just, every year we do this, there's all, like, there were a lot of people sitting on their hands for David yeah. Dewhurst, who they haven't heard of. Uh, here, let's, uh, let's do three and four back to back. Uh, Lieutenant Governor, very worried about what he has found at the border with Mexico. Scary. Scary. Oh. Today, a lot of our Border Patrol signs in the Texas brush are in English, Spanish, and Chinese. The question is, there, is there ISIS activity targeted against the United States? And the answer is clearly yes. Every message that we've seen coming out of ISIS focuses on mobilizing terrorist Islam against the, the United States. The leader of ISIS has said, I'll see you in New York. Prayer rugs have recently been found on the Texas side of the border in the brush. Clearly. Um, Big threat. I've been to the Texas brush recently. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm not kidding. And yeah. the only thing I found there was Texas brush. <laughs> I didn't find anything else. But um, let me ask you guys, this prayer rug story is being circulated in a very um, su superstitious sort of boogeyman thing. I've heard it now several iterations of it from other people. But you were uh, in Texas and heard it, right? And I heard it from someone who has a friend in the Border Patrol. I, I, where did it start? Uh, it started, I think, at Breitbart. It started on a right-wing uh, website. I think it was Breitbart. And it looks like, I think, is that right, JR? JR says that's right. So uh, that, and, and they now, what we think that was, was a, no kidding, a, an Adidas shirt. Yeah, why don't right? we show that? It was an Adidas shirt late, yeah. it, that was on? That's the prayer rug. You don't mm -hmm. think that's a, that's a prayer rug? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I can I can see uh, a la, a la oh, droppings all over well, it. Well, Nike's <laughs> making one too, and it's yeah. also very. Yeah. These that. are prayer rugs that really go with you when you want to go. <laughs> they, ironically, they, they make have, them. They, ironically, they make those prayer Reebok. rugs on the Gaza Strip uh, next to Soda Stream. Right. So, <laughs> I like the. It, but it, the logic it. of it, Ben, is that <laughs> these guys are hauling their prayer carpets all the way from the Middle East. <laughs> Crossing the Texas border, kneeling down, praying, and then leaving them there. <laughs> They're not taking them onto El Paso because El Madar is there. He's going to give them some more. Yeah, well, there's a terrific sort of Islamic surplus store in Plano. <laughs> and they just know they get a new, fresh one there. Yeah, 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 yeah that's right. The, uh, I like how that, how tight is that photo to prevent yeah. us from having an ounce of perspective, yeah. you know? A little closer, a yeah. little closer, a little closer. If, I, if I'm not mistaken, those are leaves. Yeah. You don't find that in the Texas brush. There's no, no deciduous yeah. forest there. Uh, it wouldn't be a track suit in Jersey, I think. Those look like prayer leaves. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure those aren't prayer leaves? Those are scary leaves. Oh, my God. And well, this guy, clearly. this is a lieutenant governor of Texas. Yeah, that, that's oh, good enough for him. In Texas. Good, good enough for him. For him. Yeah. Good enough for also, him. I mean, we've sort of skipped over it, but the, the sign being in Spanish and Chinese. Yeah. Why, why are the up. Chinese why thrown under the bus? The I, what decade is what it? What signs? Well, you go across. There aren't any signs out there. Hey, hey, don't come in here. Yeah, wait, what is it, what does it right? say? This is an illegal border crossing. Yeah. yeah, I don't think there are a lot of signs, and if there are, 
I don't know, you know, if you want, maybe, it probably so, because you know, you cross the border, you get hungry, maybe they just want to order out. That's what that is. It's actually a menu. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The signs are no prayer carpet parking between seven and nine on Mondays and Wednesdays. I think that's what it is. But why is this uh, gathering like a scrutiny free zone? Why does no one apply any factual scrutiny to what these people but are saying? Because at they, all. They don't even, because it, well, it, it all, they don't do it anywhere anymore. They don't even do it on mainstream news, all right? That's, I mean, that's the problem with mainstream news is they don't ever debunk anybody who says something crazy, easily debunkable. They repeat it. They ask the other person who's supposed to be on the other side of the argument what they think, and they've reported it. That's it. Boom, you know? Yeah. So that's it. So there's no scrutiny there. There's no scrutiny on fucking Brian Williams news. Are you kidding me? There's no scrutiny anywhere, which is... It hey, just goes Anderson to show you Cooper we Cooper has that segment. So that's the thing we were talking about this the other day. It's like so Anderson Cooper has a segment on his new show called Keeping Them Honest. Isn't that the whole point of your whole show is to keep on like the St. Petersburg Times they have that fact that fact check section of their newspaper of their newspaper. They have the fact check section. That's it's supposed to be a whole one newspaper. The whole thing is a fact check, is it not? Not really, turns out. No, yeah. it's not really. My favorite section on PolitiFact is the no bullshit section. <laughs> yeah. Even a smaller section <laughs> of the fact. A little bit. Maybe mm -hmm. a little bit but, less. You know, the only places that do it are like Media Matters for America. I mean, as the online does it. And, you know, in your old show. I mean, like comedy shows do a, and, yeah. you know, and John Oliver on it. Those they do a far better job of running through the most popular thing said at the, vo vo uh, the Value Voter yeah. Summit and how completely made up they are. Yeah. And they have effectively, the right wing has effectively uh, uh, taught or educated their followers to dismiss any news that doesn't line up with their already preconceived ignorant notions of how the world is supposed to be. Yeah. So when Brian Williams reports something that goes contrary about climate change, it's because oh, he's liberal. Just you just dismiss him. John Stewart, he's liberal. They're all liberal. So you just dismiss them, you label them, then you can dismiss them, which is what they do. And everything that's not right wing is considered liberal claptrap. Mm. CBS, NBC, even though they're all owned by the same six corporations and they're all funded by Walmart oil companies and military industrial complex somehow they're funding the liberal news media yeah. also so that's what they've effectively done this with their followers right the whole right wing they don't their opposition is accurate information that's really what they're against right now mm -hmm.